Scotland's leader writes to Johnson, pointing out her concerns with a possible no-deal Brexit, which she believes will result in massive job loss in Scotland. Nicola Sturgeon also says her government wants an alternative option and said they would make preparations for an independence vote. In 2016, most people in Scotland voted to remain in the EU. For more on Boris Johnson's ascension, let's hear from Luke Coffey. He's a foreign policy expert with the Heritage Foundation. How will Boris Johnson becoming prime minister affect Brexit? Well, he's someone who not only believes in Brexit, but he led, he was one of the top leaders of the campaign for Brexit back in 2016. So I think it's right and proper and appropriate that the prime minister um, is someone who actually believes, believes in this idea. Whereas with Theresa May, uh, you had someone who uh, very lukewarmly uh, supported the notion of Brexit merely because she realized that uh, the public mandate was to deliver Brexit. But she didn't really have her heart in it, so hopefully this will change. And Mr. Johnson has been a supporter of a no-deal Brexit. Um, the U.K. Office of Budget Responsibility says a no-deal Brexit would cause a recession. Do you, are you buying that? Do you think the U.S. is headed for some severe economic trouble if there is a no-deal Brexit? No, I don't buy this. Uh, firstly, uh, uh, Boris Johnson has, has said his preference is to have a deal to leave the European Union, but he is willing to leave without a deal. So I think it's good to have that threat on the table and for it to be a genuine threat. Because I remember when Theresa May said, no deal is better than a bad deal. Well, she delivered a bad deal and she wouldn't support no deal. But I think Boris Johnson will be treated with a bit more seriousness by his European Union counterparts because they know that he is in fact willing to leave the, the EU without a deal. In terms of these economic forecasts, Look, I don't pay much attention to these. If you look at the official economic forecasts issued by the Treasury Department in, in the UK before the vote in 2016, it said that a vote to leave, so not, um, not, not leaving the EU, but merely a vote, would result in the, an immediate recession and the loss of 500,000 jobs. Right now, the UK has the uh, lowest level of unemployment in its modern history and actually finished the year 2016 growing faster than the Eurozone and the fastest growing economy in the G7. So uh, I, I think these economic forecasts are very dubious and often uh, politically driven. Now, President Trump has praised Boris Johnson. He says he'll straighten out Brexit. How do you think uh, Johnson's appointment to prime minister will affect the U.S.-U.K. relationship? Well, clearly President Trump uh, takes a liking to Boris Johnson. And uh, often the two are compared together, but when, when you look at the, the two individuals separately, you see a lot of differences in their backgrounds and their upbringing and, and uh, their worldview. But what they do have in common is in this belief of national sovereignty and people being able to control uh, their own borders, being able to sign their own trade deals, being able to um, make sure that they're not subservient to uh, a supranational um, body. And also, I think one of the aspects about Boris Johnson that appeals to President Trump is that Boris did not go out of his way to constantly criticize President Trump uh, right after he was elected. Even though Boris was the uh, foreign minister of the UK, one of the senior statesmen of Europe, he kept a very open mind and a very pragmatic view of President Trump, whereas his European counterparts were falling over themselves trying to criticize President Trump. Luke Coffey of the Heritage Foundation, thanks for coming on and talking about this. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Anytime. As it stands, the Brexit deadline is October 31st. It's Monday, so let's look ahead of some stories we're keeping an eye on this week. The U.S. and China are resuming trade talks in Shanghai, Beijing, Tuesday. The trade dispute between the, wor the two world powers has affected a number of industries, and analysts say it's left a dent in the American economy. There doesn't appear to be a resolution in sight. The dispute has